What do you think of what happened in Elizabeth recently with the uh, uh, explosions and the uh, pipe bombs at the train station? Uh, it really bothers me because I'm 30 minutes away from Elizabeth where I grew up and to think that there's a terrorist so close to where I grew up and to where, you know, uh, you know, my parents had a business for years. I mean, it's so sad to think in your backyard now that there are these terrorists popping up and causing mayhem on our country and on our, in our neighborhoods with children. It's sickening to me. And unless something's being done about this, and it seems like, you know, it seems like our president is, uh, he uh, is kind of more, um, he's not proactive, he acts after the fact. So, uh, but he's not pro. He's got to be proactive because we got to stop this, because it's getting closer and closer to home, and this scares me. It scares me for my grandchildren to come, and this this has got to be dealt with real seriously, or we're going to have a problem in this country. W weren't the uh, the Italians and uh, Greek immigrants weren't they Democrats traditionally? Yeah, I think you know traditionally, I think when they came over on the boat, some of them were you know, very liberal at the time. But I see a lot of my friends that grew up at Italian-American households, they're, they're more conservative than liberal these days. So I think that's, that's changed a lot. Thank God. What do you, how do you feel about the way that the late night hosts uh, have treated Trump uh, compared to Hillary Clinton? I, you know what? I'm not aware of the late night hosts anymore because I go to bed at 9 o'clock, 9.30 p.m., so I don't know what's happening because I teach young adults with special needs how to work in this film industry of ours. And uh, that, at this point, has you know, been my focus. So I, I didn't really know that they were all that going that route. It's kind of sad. It's, uh, you know, it's, um, yeah, so I, I don't know what they're all up to these days. But I do, I will say this. It's just we need a change. We need a big change because... They're in our backyards now. They're coming in our country and they're coming here and you know We don't know who's who anymore and I think people have to really be aware of if something looks wrong Forget the political correctness because you know, we got to report it. We don't I don't care who anybody is I don't care what anybody is just do the right thing and come to this country and respect this country and Love this country like my parents did my grandparents did and all of my heritage did they love this country They couldn't wait to speak English They couldn't wait to be a part of this country and to vote in this country and I think more people have to have that mindset today uh, or else you know everything they fought for or everything my father fought for in World War II has gone to hell and that would be really sad to see that go away. In this coming election who are you going to vote for De Niro or Pacino? Uh, Pacino because as a, as a when I studied with Lee Strasberg I got to meet Pacino and sit and watch a football game a, a Super Bowl with him at Lee's house it was a long story how that happened and he was just the coolest guy. Then I got to meet him again at Anna Strasberg's birthday party and hang out with him again. And he's a cool guy. So, Pacino. <laughs> Is Lee Strasberg overrated? No, he was a heck of a man. I, I you know, he was, uh, he was like a grandfather to me, a father to me. He was a real super guy. And he was tough. He was a tough acting teacher, no doubt about it. He was tough. But he was good. He made sense and he made you realize that you could step up and do the work and find the tap into the talents that you had inside and, and truly use them. Not overrated at all. He was, a, he was one of the greats. Truly was. What do you, what do you think this great uh, famous acting company headed by Stella Doro? Oh. Stella Doro Cookies? Uh, they're responsible for my acting like a fat Italian guy now. It's Stella Doro that did it. And they added to my boyish figure right here and I love them. I love them for it. <laughs>